Oh, that's how you can get through all your workout. You got creatine. It says it makes you push through your workout. That's what I heard on TikTok. All right, my battery's gonna die. I was gonna bring my uh, camera to the gym, but we're just taking our pre workout. Probably go to Walmart afterwards if we have time because we don't have any food in the fridge. We're not gonna have time. Oh, it's 545. Well, I guess uh, Instacart. I saw my whole life flash. I have to make sure that I bring water because that pre workout makes me like extremely. And then it just gives me like this really intense crash. I saw my whole life flash. Good morning. Today is Saturday. Mmm. 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 Yeah, my voice sound like it's going this. Uh, uh, hold up. <clears throat> me, 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 me. I literally just woke up. Like, typically we don't go to the gym on Saturdays. But for some reason, Eddie said, you want to go to the gym? Hell no. <laughs> Eddie's excited for some reason to go to the gym today. We never go on Saturdays. We go Monday through Friday. Saturday and Sunday is our rest day because Sunday is church all day anyway. And I don't ever really sleep in. Like I woke up at four something this morning. I don't know if it's God trying to wake me up. Not trying to, but I don't know if it's God waking me up at certain times, but I've been waking up between the hours of three and five. And they say when that happens, that it's a reason. And so I just start praying or I will open the Bible and read something. Cause I feel like, do I need to receive something? Like, what is it? So I got these leggings from Amazon. It really hugs me in. I still have stretch. I just really like this uh, legging. I have like so many pair of them. Let me open them, hold on. So this is the brand. They have a gang of stretch. I like the little, where is it, booty ruching. It just makes your butt look really good, especially if you're like well endowed. I got, I got some, yay. Okay, I love the length of the waistband. That's very important. The waistband placement as well as the length. Y'all, when I open up my own fitness attire, you'll know what I'm talking about. I hate when I see women with like saggy crotches. And so typically I don't really care for this type of fabric, but it works. I have a green pair, a brown pair, a flesh color pair, and then I have like three black pair. And I ended up getting these in an extra large at first. So then I went down to a large and still had a gang of stretch. The medium fits perfectly. The only thing is now, cause I got so much behind, I feel like you can kind of like see when I wear it, cause I wear thongs to the gym. I feel like you can kind of see my, my booty skin. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I just want to share. This is the brand. I'll leave a link in my description box. But um, let me go ahead and put this stuff on because I know he's going to be waiting for me. All right. Put this on the vlog because all we doing is arguing right because now. Because of you. Why would you even come this way? Well, you should have drove. This is how I drive here. So uh, you should know that there's no parking. Well, there's parking right here. Who parks all the way back here? Who parks over there? Me. I'm a woman. I don't like to park over here if I don't Where have anybody to. Though? Yeah. My car's not safe over here. Is anybody broke into it? Over yes. here. Over here. <laughs> Right there. I know, I didn't see it. You, next time, drive. Yeah. Look at you, about to hit the thing. I saw my whole life flash. Anyway, we're back from the gym. We did not film in there because we just didn't. I don't know. I got a better damn attitude, but not that I couldn't film. I left my camera here because they've been changing their rules. Rules about what? About the bag stuff. What they gotta do with the camera? I was gonna put the I was gonna put my camera in the bag and walk around with it. Good. Anyway, I'm trying to get um some food. We've been doing really good. We have not door dashed all week. Well, we door I door dashed yesterday, but Panda Express. We haven't door dashed all week because we've been we saw how much we were spending in a month for DoorDash. It was just it was ridiculous. Like mm. 
So I really want some Roscoe's. Terrible idea to have after working out, but I really want some Roscoe's. But Roscoe's, like the Obama special, is twenty dollars now. Like when I used to go when I was like in high school, it was like eleven dollars. They didn't have Obama special in high school. It was called something else. It was like three wings and a. It wasn't. They called it. Then it wouldn't be enough. <laughs> but it's the same thing. It's three wings and a waffle. It was called the number nine, I think, or number something. It's the number nine. But it was a. <laughs> Obama wasn't president. <laughs> Mm. So we're not gonna do it because it would be like $84 for all three of us to eat. Even if we were to go to the restaurant, it would still be about the same or more. So we just not trying to spend that for no <gasps> breakfast food right now. <clears throat> so I don't know what we're gonna do. Start. <laughs> food. Go down. Fast. I'm fasting already. So there's that. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Y'all, it's raining in California. Like, where did they do that at? <laughs> like, it's too much. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You too. It's wet outside. Oh my. Hey guys, I feel like I have not picked. I feel like I have not picked up my vlog camera in a minute. I can't even find my tripod. <sighs> I am gonna be going to get my moles looked at on my face. I have tons and tons and tons of moles. And really this is more cosmetic. I've been wanting to do this for forever. I just have not looked into it. Anyway, I'm gonna be going to the California Skin Institute. I just went online. This one I love. And I really like my skin. And I feel like my skin can't be great unless I get my moles removed. It's just a consultation, just a consultation. And today has been such a freaking busy day. I need to rush on a brand sponsorship. I'm grateful, but these brands be rushing. Anyway, I am, and I have a meeting later today too, and another call. So today is just, today is just insane, honestly. I had to skip the gym. Anyway, back to the mole situation, all right? I don't wear a foundation on my face anymore. It's been a few years since I don't I don't wear a foundation. I just do the under eye concealer and the setting powder and mascara and fill my brows in, right? But even with that, my skin is already textured. So to have the moles and the skin tags and some of them stick out and just on film too, I just don't like the way all of them look. I like some of them. I don't mind the ones on my neck. It has character, you know? But some of them just, they're ghetto. So I'm not gonna put you guys on my little tripod thing. So I hope this is okay. I'm gonna hold y'all for now. I need to be held. Oh my God, y'all. When I tell you, like I'm not a baby when it comes to procedures or anything like that. Like I have had surgery before, nothing like cosmetic, but <laughs> I've given birth. It's just, you know, I, I am that person that goes to the doctor for any little thing. Like I don't wait. I know my body. I don't play, okay? I not, I'm not only living for myself anymore, I'm living for my baby, my daughter. And I have to be healthy, like point blank in a period. My family is like that. We're like, it's just, we don't play about our, about our health. And so the fact that I, my pits are sweating and I'm not even getting anything done. It's just for them to look at it. But I think it's just becoming so real and it's on my face face and I'm like oh my god what if I scar like you know I'm just thinking of all the things that I haven't even talked to the doctor about like what if I don't like the doctor like what if, what if he's like no we can't remove anything like <sighs> I'm just not ready for all of this it's just <sighs> but like the bible says what does it say I can't even think huh Oh my God, I can't even think about what the Lord's saying to me right now. Jesus, um, oh, here we go. God has not given us a spirit of fear. I, ooh, the power of love and a sound mind. Hallelujah! And I have to remind myself, like, girl. Stand up, stand up. Girl, get up. Girl, get up. Like, you're not even going, you, it's sad. I don't like being rushed when I give you my money. I'm just speechless right now. It was so fast. I didn't plan on getting anything done today. He did this one. G girl, it was so freaking fast. 
Like, he didn't even give me a numbing cream. I, he was like, I do it to ladies. Okay, that's fine. You do it to old ladies all day. But I am not an old lady that you be doing all day. He just wanted me to see how it felt. It hurt. I would say it was like a five or six on the pain scale. But I'm supposed to pay another hundred something dollars. I don't even know which ones he did. Like, they just were so fast. Stand up. Hey, mom. I know it was like a whole bunch of gibberish earlier because I was just like still in shock. I don't know if I feel comfortable going back to that place because where I went was all white people. It was, I mean, nothing's wrong with that, but I I just didn't feel comfortable in the city that I chose. I should have never chose that city that I chose. I didn't do my research. I'm going to see how this plays out in the next five days or so, if it scabs up and all that jazz. And then, yeah, I was hoping for like just a different outcome. So anyway, I'm on my way to a family meeting in just a second. I had to turn in content for a brand I was able to actually film and edit and send out. Because I'm Cali, I'm three hours from most companies and most brands who are like, you know, East Coast. So to them, it's 8.30. You know, for me, it's only 5.30. So anyway, I have to be somewhere at 6.30. I have a call with my travel agent in 30 minutes. Y'all, today, <laughs> today has today. Okay, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. So anyway, Eddie went to go pick up Camila from school. She had practice. And I'm just trying to gather myself and sit here for like 10 minutes before I head out. I don't know. So if you ever gotten your moles, mainly skin, well, yeah, skin tags and moles removed, let me know your process. Because they say I can only do 15 to 20 moles no, 15 moles at one time. Sir, do you see? I'm trying to get it up one done, one shot. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like going in for like one breast, you know, augmentation. You were like, I'm gonna come back for the next breast. So I don't know if it was just that place that I went to or if that's like standard. Oh, I'm a little disappointed, but you know, life goes on. I've been living with these for a good minute. So a couple more months ain't gonna hurt. I didn't even hear what you said. Hey, Junebug. There's actually a lot I want to talk with you about. Welcome back for another vlog. I am trying to really hone in on doing better at vlogging. I enjoy it. Um, it's just a break from doing hair. So yeah, I'm on my way actually to go meet with a friend who I've known for a very long periodically time. So I need to find my nail. Mm -hmm. Put that sucker on. Sorry I put my clothes away. Y'all know I don't like explaining nothing, but just, okay. I am wearing a little two-piece set from Tarjay, my little easy boost, and then my favorite sweater that I wear everywhere. I think it was worse than my last one, but it's just so comfy. I got it from Target. Then my Nike bag, and my hair is just in a bun. I straightened it for my pattern video. Working out, my hair does not stay. So I'm gonna go ahead and look at the menu at Yard House, because I ain't been there in since like my birthday and like five years ago. So I'm gonna look and see what they have. Yeah, and I'll be Hey guys, like I said, I'm really trying to get back into vlogging. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but I really like it, you know what I mean? I think I don't get a chance to tell you guys over on YouTube. I say it all the time on Instagram because I'm just more active over there daily. How much I freaking appreciate y'all so much. I've been doing this influencer thing content creating thing when it was just a hobby nobody was trying to go viral <laughs> when nobody was we were just out here posting no strategy no gimmick nothing and i even said on my instagram like when i started like people were not supportive even people that were like my no you know what i mean like they just they weren't always supportive i had people make fun of me because i was vlogging at the time i i stuck with it and it turned into my job and i've been doing it for like eight plus years 
full time. I haven't always been consistent, but when I think about, oh, I have three platforms, TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube that all have over 100,000 followers. Oh my God, wow. I just want to connect. Like I want to continue on how I was when I first got started. It was about helping other people. That is my, that is my judge. Like I understand going viral. I understand, you know, entertaining people and all that jazz. It's all good. Like I'm gonna entertain because I'm just naturally entertaining. <laughs> when I pop on this dog on camera, I'm the same way when I pop it off. You feel what I'm trying to say? Uh-huh. I just cannot thank you guys enough for those who have been rocking with me, who watch my vlogs, who just want the best for me. I really appreciate that. I worked with Pattern again, and y'all, when I tell you I got on that call with them, now my this is what my third time working with Pattern. Yes, my third time working with Pattern, and it just it just feels great that my whole my whole career, whether it be Instagram, YouTube, and or TikTok, campaigns that I've had have been because they came to me. just talking about that to my homegirl the other day like I don't know anybody else's story if you know how that goes no team nothing and I had to just really bask in that and the fact that I'm like really proud of myself because it's hard trying to maintain a platform that they're just all all the platforms are just different from each other they require Hold different use the right they require different things left. They require different things, you know what I mean? And I don't have a makeup team, I don't have a hair team, I don't have a wardrobe, I don't have, you know, A, B, and C. I have management, we thank God for that. I need to go over, okay. And I'm saying this because, y'all, I made a video not so long ago, and one of my pet peeves is when people have to get on camera and explain themselves every single time. Like, they get on and they have their hair not done, and like, don't mind my hair, y'all. And it's like, <laughs> I just don't understand bringing attention to something you don't want attention on. Even though I hate it, like I found myself doing it. I, I try so hard, y'all, not to do it because it's just, it don't even make no sense. This lady left a comment and it was just so far-fetched to me. She was so wrong and missed the whole point. It, it just was just the weirdest thing. Here's the thing about me, y'all. I don't go back and forth with not a nobody, okay? If I do, it's because I had a little bit of time and I'm very particular about my time and my energy. I learned that a very long time ago. People love to get under your skin. People just are gonna people, uh-huh. And to around, I don't have time. I don't wanna people when I don't have to people because my mouth, is I've always had a problem with my mouth and I know myself. I just don't, I just, I just don't do it. And, and, and thankfully I have not gotten many people who are like just rude and like leaving crazy comments. But this one lady kind of just, she kind of like, oh, she kind of did it for me because like she missed the point and she was so wrong. And so I felt the need to correct her and she still didn't get it. She just wanted to go back and forth. I'm tired of influencers. And when people say you tired of influencers doing this, that just lets me know so much about where you're coming from. You have a hang up on people that you chose to watch. It don't make no sense to me. And so I blocked and deleted. That's that's the, that's my ministry. I'm a part of the block and delete ministry. I, matter of fact, I'm the I'm 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 the head uh the head chick in charge. I, but I block and delete because you're not gonna trust me on my page. <laughs> you're not gonna do that because I know I come on here with positivity. I know I come on here just trying to help and I'm goofy and I'm churchy. I'm I'm mind my business. I ain't like no other influencer. Look, listen to me when I say I'm not like I'm I'm Raina. Like Raina is Raina. And I don't bother nobody. You know what I mean? When you come on my platform and you try to think you doing something so anyway when i thought about it and i was just like i had to reflect on that because sometimes you know you're not always right sometimes it is your projections sometimes you know what you said may have been taken wrong or whatever and so i just try to make sure even when i i knew that she was wrong in that instance <laughs> i still wanted to reflect on it i had to pray about it y'all because at the end of the day like i'm human but i love god but I'll, I'll, I'll give you a piece of my mind. There we go, that's nicer, right? Okay, cool. I had to reflect and I had to just really make sure that I was coming from a good place because I knew I was, but then that, it kind of made me feel like, well, let me just double, double check. I feel like God just showed out 
And I got on a call with Pattern. And the way these women uplifted me and talked about my authenticity, that I'm goofy and I'm funny. The way these women, these black women who I, you know, I've, I've, like I said, I work with Pattern. When I tell you, I, woo, I am not finna cry. <laughs> I'm a G. We don't do that. I, just, I needed to hear that. That's that's all I can say. I really needed to hear that. My, my, my thing is, I just want to help. I don't want no issues. I don't want no problems because I know I can't be the problem. Meaning, <laughs> I know I'm a work in progress. And it's very easy as an influencer or a creator to get so defensive. And I don't want to do that. And so I just want to say thank you guys so much for rocking with me all these years those who may be new thank you for clicking subscribe thank you for coming back those who have been rock with me on all three platforms like y'all that means so much because i don't be following people like that i just love the journey that god is is putting me on and the things that he's showing me and how he's changing my heart and just because the old reina the old, <laughs> that's the thing people don't when people don't know how you used to be i yeah when people don't know how you used to be god has really use platforms to change me and to speak to me and to remind me of his grace and his mercy and to give that to other people hello try to see where other people are coming from even though you may know that you came from a, even though you know that you came from a good place double doubling back and just making sure that you made sure you understand what i'm trying to say start today whatever it is that's been pressing on your heart start today sis do it because the world needs you now, ain't nobody, ain't nobody, listen, can't nobody do it like Raina. They may try. They may take a few things here and there. I be peeping stuff. But Raina been Raina. And Raina's gonna Raina. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes, yeah, so let me go ahead and go because I didn't miss my dog on time. You turn. arrived at your destination? I have not because I missed it. I see y'all next I do but my social battery will go down it's very drastic like I'm ha ha kiki woo woo and then about an hour and a half I will start to be like all right so um we'll connect <laughs> I'll be tired child. hey guys so I'm currently in the valet line to go I'm sorry it's dark to see uh or not see but Tia Mari came out with For You by Tia, and so I am trying to go to the event. The valet line is crazy. So, I'm waiting. DJ I am horrible at vlogging, but let me just say, when I tell you Kelsey and Kendra, the glam twins, when I tell you how, like I already knew they were sweet, we were able to talk today. Some of the sweetest, sweetest people Turn ever. left on Hollywood Boulevard. Sweetest. Well you guys, I did it. I did it. I went to an event to buy my dog on sale. 